Ambulance service is finished and breathing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a nice What do you want? Um, if I can have some tape and another pink cannula, please. He had a brain tumour and it was removed about two years ago. Okay. But because of the size of it and where it was and the damage that it did to his brain. Uh-huh. He, um, he's had two major craniotomy operations. Right. Daniel is given medication to stabilise him enough to be taken to hospital. He was first diagnosed back in 2019. They thought it was depression and anxiety. So then when he was finally rushed into hospital, uh, Durham to start with, he had a scan where they showed this mass in the middle of his brain where we were told the next day if we hadn't have got him in when we did, he wouldn't be with us now, we'd have lost him. He goes to college though, this is his final year of his A-levels now. Uh, he wants to go to Newcastle University, so hopefully that will still happen, but... A second dose of medication is administered to control the seizures. Ready? Yeah. With the seizures now under control, Daniel will be taken to the nearest A and E, four miles away. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Is there anything that normally sort of triggers it all? Sometimes stress can trigger things. They were hoping he'd grow out of them. Maybe after six to nine months, maybe it would settle down. But of course as it stands at the moment, and they've had to change his medication a lot because with him, the higher the dose you go, the more side effects there are. He had dreadful depression, and that was real depression. Uh, couldn't sleep, wasn't eating properly, was sick loads. Um, and then they finally found a slow release one, which he's on at the moment. Daniel will be monitored by specialist doctors at North Durham Hospital for the next 24 hours.